Hello world, my name is Chromeray, and welcome back to Dread Out 2. In the last episode, we went to the hotel, where we saw many creatures, some with the likes of Dark Linda. Linda is Dark Doppelganger, who possesses some of her powers. Dark Linda awakens dark vibrations that drive both human and spirit alike into uncontrollable madness. So is it just a demon that copies your evil thoughts? Or, because this was a very strong demon that we couldn't defeat earlier. I guess the other demon, the snake lady, is controlling her somehow. And then this was two Yule Jawara. They were so cute, but then we had to kill them. We, why, why must they always have to die? The leader of the hotel, Indy Mui Tuyulu Pak. Usually harmless, but mischievous. We'll try to play a dangerous game with anyone who got lost into their territory. Oh, yeah, that dangerous game ended up costing them their lives. So, we accepted the quest to go to the next location. And the bridge is shut down. Ah. It is kind of weird how this game turned into just like a, a quest grabber completer. But it's, it's still good. It's still like heavily story oriented and everything. Just, it's like Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. I never thought I would compare a game to that. Much less a horror game. But that's how it is. Like the first Ninja Storm where you're running around the city as Naruto before you go on quests. Huh. That's weird. I just noticed there's not a single motorcycle coming down this road for once. That is really interesting. That how the div they didn't just like put the art into the game. They like, or their art into the stores. They put it into like everything. They thought about, okay, people probably wouldn't be on th doing the same things every single day. Although I don't know why people wouldn't be having to drive to work every day. Unless it's like the weekend. So I guess maybe the city's just not busy. I did not look at where I just went. Oh, speaking of motorcycle people. I wish I could drive like that. Notes updated. Why is this place so creepy? The air. The scent of it. Maybe because it smells bad, that's why it's creepy. Why is it so familiar? Anyway, I should go ask the locals and gather information about Semini eggs. Fingers crossed. Well, maybe it's familiar because you've been here before in the first game. Local Ojek guy. Welcome to Kumpeng Sinte. Bike taxis aren't allowed here. Is there something I can help with? What? Semini eggs? I'm sorry pronounce for mispronouncing and butchering every single word in this game. Be careful with your questions, miss. We're very religious folks around here. So I guess semini eggs are like demon eggs from chickens. And it originated from this place. But the people here are like very religious. I don't know why the evil eggs would come from such a place like this. Unless maybe there's like an evil cult leader. I was not expecting this sudden change in music either. It's so beautiful. It's like the village, the city life, and now it's the village life. Child, you have to know something about this. The children always know the rumors of the town. Hey, sis. Want to play with us? No? You want to ask about Semini eggs? Nah, I don't know. Just ask the uncle over there. I don't know why I gave him such a deep, evil, mean voice, but I did. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Are, are you the uncle? I'm pretty sure you're not. Ah! Look! <laughs> what a babe! That girl is so girlfriend material. Huh? Wait a minute. Does she look like that sassy girl? No way. It can't be. She's already dead years ago. Oh, ho, ho, ho. she was dead and brought back to life by the people of the school somehow. I, oh, it was the demon snake girl who brought us back to life. She's controlling all the demons, so I guess she's controlling this girl too. This is the uncle, Mamet the breeder, the chicken breeder for the eggs. Hello, miss. What? Semini eggs? That was weird. I'm sorry, I don't know. I just recently moved from the neighborhood village. Go ask the local ladies over there. I'm sure they know something. That was a strange voice. I don't, I don't know. He had a, like 20 voices. That was weird. I don't know why they programmed him with that many voices.
There's a random freaking well. Hmm. This well. It's all dried up. It's overgrown. I wonder why they keep it around. <laughs> Maybe because it's an antique. Antiquated. Or it's just religious. Or something. Where are those girlies? Well, we got a couple of tombstones, a graveyard with... Who was playing chess at the graveyard? Is that where the night shift people work? They played... What? Night shift people? I guess the people... The graveyard watchers. That probably did not make sense. The people who guard the graveyard from, like, the mischievous kid. I don't know why they would have to guard it here. I guess body stealing is pretty common here. Yes, dear. Salmon eye eggs. Uh, I think there's only one person left who still trades those things. But she had stopped since many religious per persecutions lately. Maybe you should ask the Grandpa Pry. He should know something about it. By the way, why are you asking about salmon eye eggs? Are you trying to... Listen, you're still young. Don't get involved with something like that. Oh. So she is willing to talk about salmon eye eggs. There is nothing in that house. That's a creepy house. So she said to ask some man, old man about it, basically. There's... Nazgore Pengu... I, I shouldn't even try it. What's this? Oh, is this a lost board? A missing cat? Oh, that's so cute. Even though it's just a picture of a cat. What is that? A makeup company. On the... on Really? You're putting your ads there? I guess that's a good place. Yeah, like the only place to put your ad in a town like this. Oh, are you the man? Grandpa Pre. I'm gonna call you Grandpa Pi. Huh? What? Speak louder. I can't hear you. Semini what? Ah, Semini eggs. Do I look like an egg seller to you? Go ask that crazy woman. Go uphill, outside the village. You'll find her there. Tusk, young folks nowadays, always busy with useless things, obsessed with their phones, and now mumbo jumbo nonsense. Well, so I need to find a lady out here somewhere. Is that her right there? No, it's a man. I have a feeling that guy's gonna meet me out here because you don't just tell someone something like this after everyone says you're the chicken farmer and the forest uphill won't let any outsider get out alive especially those loud mouths who don't respect the taboo around here y you you shut up you think i'll die and you think i'm a loud mouth too don't say i didn't warn you you know what i got your photo so i can show the demon your photo i got quiet I think, I think he was right. Maybe he was on to something when he said I would die if I went up here. Well, I wasn't expecting the luscious greenery to look so good. Am I playing Skyrim? What's this? A candle? This is a strange looking candle. It's pretty beautiful. I mean, the wind, nothing is moving. It's just like a stale uh, setting. Oh, is that plant moving? Yeah, those plants are moving just a little bit. So I'm assuming that old man's gonna pop out anywhere and he's gonna pretend to be that woman he led us to. See, that guy didn't know what he was talking about. It's just beautiful and calm. Left or right? Well, this way seems to end abruptly. Or it doesn't. It's just super dark and, and creepy like. Why is it so dark over here? Why am I still going through the dark area? Um, this does not look safe. But usually if you take the good path, you end up in the evil surrounding. Am I going in a circle? What? Wait a second. I swear we passed. Oh. We're lost. I see what the game's trying to do to us. It has a select path we have to go down. Because it's its way of telling us that we're lost. Um. Oh, okay, just a little lettuce back around this way. <laughs> That's cool. That way you don't go the wrong way and it 
doesn't just have a dead end. It actually has stuff that way to make the game look more realistic. Are we running a little bit faster now? I feel like we just started sprinting a little bit quicker. Yeah, you can see the loading. The screen keeps on changing a little. Wait a second. It's getting darker. The, the sun's going down and it keeps leading us. Oh, this is not the same path. I thought it was the same path at first. Hey, waterfall. Probably isn't safe to be up here. Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh, I think there's just dark, dark things. Dark people. Like little statues to honor the uh, gods of this culture. Let's just play. Okay, I guess we can't play around in the waterfall. At least we can take a beautiful photo of it. And get back on our merry way to the jar people. Where did we see them? This way. So, are you harboring some evil being that's going to chase after us if we take a photo of you? <gasps> no. There's alcohol, probably sake and stuff. But we're not the type to drink that. What is that? Hey, it's a camper. Are you a happy camper? You don't look you don't look like a local. So but you're surviving somehow. The camping site was closed years ago. All because unexplained accidents involved many campers. A few survivors claimed that they were followed and misled by strange figures. Locals said they broke taboo around here. Personally, I don't believe that kind of thing. But as a ranger, I must respect their beliefs. So, yeah, I'm in the same mindset as you. The exact same mindset. But you're a ranger, of a park ranger, so you are from around here. I want to go that way to the sign, but there's stairs right here. And that looks very creepy. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, I don't know which way to go. I have to go to the sign, though. Or at least have to read it. What does it say? Um, I don't know what that says. Some, some forest with white chalk trees. Oh, oh, that's just a waterfall. Oh, wow, okay. That's a big waste of time. I wish we saw this path earlier. It would have been more beautiful coming this way rather than just cutting through all the scenery that way. But at least we couldn't go the beautiful way. Wherever it may lead us. Maybe to death. Maybe to treasure. Or probably something a little worse than both of those two things. I mean, treasure doesn't have anything bad about it unless it's cursed. But it could be like Patch of the Carrot Bean. Are you doing that? You're doing the same thing as before, where it wants us to go this way. I bet if we went backwards, we wouldn't even be able to find our way out. Hey, it's the woman that the old man Pie was talking about. I think. Oh my. Okay. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? Semini eggs. Yeah, I used to raise semini chickens and sell the eggs. But now I've quit selling. What? Those folks said I'm a crazy old woman? Ha 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 ha. Those dim witted fanatic people. Just jealous I've made a fortune selling them. Huh. Why are you asking about those eggs? Huh? Wait. Your face. Are you? Praise the Almighty. You're alive. It's me, Miss Linda. <laughs> Nini Yeti. Teti. My, my. Don't worry, my dear. I know that tired and confused face of yours. Are in need of a good rest. Come, follow me to my house. It's not far from here. Okay, we're following this old lady. I'm assuming she's from the first game. She probably helped us out there. So she probably understands what I'm going through. Poor... What? Poor child. No worries. We're already here. Let's come inside. Hey, Linda. I don't think this is a good idea. Linda. Haven't you seen that episode of Harry Potter? Episode where the... He goes into that old lady's house and she turns into a giant anaconda. I used to work as your nanny. You you did. That explains everything. That explains why Linda's going through all this. Ah, oh, you're too young to remember by me back then. Ha <laughs> ha. Everything's all black and gray, Linda, and you look like you're dying. Oh my. You're so beautiful. Like your mother. <laughs> oh my god, Linda, why are we following her? That's why I recognized you. 
<laughs> Linda, she has an evil voice. Obviously, she's not good. I mean, at first I wasn't judging characters by the appearance, because you know there's that good lady from Spirited Away. You look tired. Why don't you get some sleep? We'll talk later. And, oh, almost forgot about the egg you mentioned. I'll see to it while you rest. Now let's call it a day. You can sleep in my room. <laughs> Don't worry, my dear. One or two insect bites won't kill you. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. What notes did we just get? Is that a ghostpedia? No, of course she's not a ghost. Not yet, anyway. What's where? Where? What? Uh. uh. Oh, notes is right here. The day's getting dark. Nini Teddy asked me the rest. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. I need to sleep after that long journey. Furthermore, she promised to tell me what happened to my family years ago. She's going to tell me will answer my many questions about myself. It's okay, it's just some weird pronunciation or translations. Well, we can't run anymore, so if she tries killing us, we're kind of dead in meat. <sighs> Linda, just go to sleep. I'm sure everything will be just fine. What kind of person doesn't use a blanket, especially when it's cold outside? Oh my god. Oh my, you've grown into a fine young lady. I remember you as a restless girl who loved to play and seek. Even if the day had gone dark, you refused to stop playing. Ah, those were the days. <laughs> I don't know if she's evil or if it's the voice I projected onto her. <laughs> 18, 19, 20. Ready or not, here I come. <gasps> okay, it's a showdown. I gotta find those brats and show them who's boss. Where do I look first? Huh. That That's a nice camera angle. Oh, we're playing as baby Linda. <laughs> there's baby Yoda, there's baby Peanut Man, and now there's baby Linda. Oh, she looks very diff- Oh, that's her mother. I guess she was still alive at this time. Mom, what are you doing outside? Mommy? Mom? Mom? Mom! She's not listening. <laughs> well, back to hide and sleep then. Need to find those trio poo poo? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is trio poo poo? I mean, yet you have three friends that you have to find? In the forest? This is a fenced off area. Ha ha what do you mean your friends are hiding? In oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought her maybe her friends were the rocks or something worse. The sticks. Wait, okay, so nothing beats a good old game of hide and seek like that one time in Dishonored. I think it was Dishonored 1. Yes, Dishonored 1. Where you play hide and go seek with your daughter. Only this time, it's hide and go seek with baby Linda. Well, they're not over there. Unless, unless they're actually hide. Oh, she can run quick. <laughs> this girl runs faster than Linda does. And as Linda's an adult. Or almost an adult, I guess. Can you climb this? You seem to be more athletic than Linda, but you can't climb still, which makes sense. Um, everything's black and white. It's hard to tell where this fence stops. <laughs> I don't think this fence does stop. Where are they hi- oh, oh, that's a log. Um, guys, come out, come out, come- oh, okay, this way is different. Guys, Linda coming. Hello. Do you have to be behind this rock? <gasps> there you are. Oh, th oh, it's Trio Poo Poo is just the name of one friend you have. Tono, you! How come? You're getting so good at this. But you're not gonna find Akka. He's a master at hiding. Akka? What, what do you mean there's an Akka? I've, I've gone everywhere. Oh, let me guess. He's... Oh, he's walking. Are you gonna help me find him? You better help me find him. No, you're just gonna walk into me like a zombie. 
Oh, this is different. This was not here before. Maybe, it, no, I would have went this way, I think. Wait, what? Oh, it was a whole circle. Okay, I get it. So I guess I just didn't see that path earlier. So we already explored the whole thing. He's probably in a place we already explored then. Probably right behind this tree to be frank. Yep, I see ya. Hiding in all these bushes. Ah, poopy. <laughs> you found me, f me, f what? I didn't find you first. <laughs> Next round, it's gonna be my turn to search for you guys. Just my luck. Okay, yeah, they, they definitely place these kids in a strange man. Is that a rabbit? Please tell me that's not a child. Okay, no, no, oh. Oh, now we can come this way. It's just all lining up for us. The stars, the planets, and it's the day of the devil in this world because I feel like everything's gonna go wrong all at once. Well, um, something tells me that bunny is not an animal, but something very evil. <laughs> this, oh my frick. Uh, oh, stinky. Oh my god. Why are you hiding here? There's an ogre. That's an ogre. <laughs> Why are you hiding next to an ogre? Huh? Linda. I guess I must admit you're the winner. Okay, I'll go meet the boys now. Bye. Or, or please, please stay here with me. Puto Ijo. Why are you saying hi to the... Oh, she can see demons from since she was young. What? You can see me. I guess you're my dinner now. Huh. <sighs> You're hungry. You're hungry? Here, take this candy. <laughs> oh. What? You're offering me food? Give me that, I'm starving. That's oh, a friendly monster. After the fact that it tried to want to eat me. You like it? Hey. How come you can live inside? How come you can live inside this stinky cave? I tell you what, let me clean this mess for you, okay? You want to clean this mess? Go ahead. I guess you're not like those humans. Made this, made this cave dirty. They did some terrible things. I should have eaten them as punishment. <laughs> so it's like the forest spirit, or well, this forest spirit, and it lives in a cave. I'm going to clean up all of this freaking ugly trash. I don't know how she just sucked that all up instantly, but apparently it's in her pockets now. I hope. hope she didn't just freaking eat it. But she is a child. You know, children eat pretty weird things, like rocks and sticks and grass. What did, what, what, what did I just pick up? It looked like bullet. <laughs> a necklace. Oh, no. Please tell me that necklace isn't gonna kill you or something. There, I cleaned up your mess. Are you happy now? Hey, Mr. Greeny! I found this beautiful necklace! Can I keep it? Oh, that was good. You want that? Keep it for you. Whoa. So you did clean my place. Thank you, little one. What's your name? Name's Linda. Nice to meet you. Linda? Of the Melinda family? I should have known her earlier. Haha. <laughs> Tell you what. As a reward for cleaning this place, I'll promise you one thing. Since we're living close to each other, I'll guarantee no one will hurt you here. If someone bullies you, I'll come and smash them. So let me guess. Something did come and it got him. Nah. I'm fine. Everyone's been good to me. Well, a promise is a promise. Now go home. Don't let your parents know you've been playing in this cave. This should be our little secret. <laughs> okay. Well, if her parents and family is the Melinda family, and he is, if he likes the Melinda family, doesn't that mean... Don't you think they might have some connections to him? 
Or maybe it's just like one of the family members. Oh no! Oh! Ah! No. Monster, are you gonna save me? Mom! What's happening? <laughs> so what did that? The snake... We released the snake lady when we got older, so that, that couldn't have been it. Oh, this lady's... This hell... Monster, are you... Okay. Does your promise still count today? Oh... She has one of those eggs that are demonic. So this is where all those... She's the evil cultist that's doing all this stuff I was talking about earlier. In the religious village. Um, grandma's secret recipe, deviled eggs. Except in this case, they're literally devil eggs. <laughs> ah! What's ha Are you having a heart Is it a voodoo doll? That gives you... How'd she know I just woke up? Did, did she just kill us? She gave us a freaking heart attack? And now we're in this spirit realm with her biggest evilness, whatever it would be. Okay, this is way too dark. What is that? Please, I need that guy to come save me! Why are you so cruel? The Maylanders were such a kind, caring family. Why did they have to suffer such a terrible tragedy? Why are you doing this to me still? Most you... people have only heard that they died in a fire. But there's more to this story. <gasps> oh, you have boobs. Oh, that, those those are not good What's boobs. What's the matter, dear? <laughs> are you okay? Y yes, I'm fine. I, I need to go home. <gasps> oh, oh. Mm, where was I? You were in the middle of letting me out. These were no ordinary family. They came from a special bloodline that possessed great power, which naturally comes with having many enemies. Like you. One night, their Trying jealousy steal overtook it. them, and they attacked your family. I was there. You it was were. It's such a shame I couldn't do anything. It was Nini. It's a tragic story, but I feel blessed that you're here with me now. Think it was the rabbit? Oh, Linda, you're just like. Oh, me. she's right there. <laughs> Oh. Oh, Master Raffia, Madame Erna. You should be so relieved. Your daughter has finally come home. Soon she'll be joining you both. So you killed my family. <laughs> she can fly. Oh! What the frick? Her head popped off like a Tootsie Pop. And it, it, it pulled a Jonathan Joe's dart. What? So she killed my family and now she's trying to kill me. I'm pretty sure she just succeeded because that her head came off and bit my head off. Oh, I'm sure you're my mother. For some reason, I don't feel scared by this. I can help you. Sulum. But first, you must fully accept the part that has been given to you. What happened to the first main antagonist? Now there's like two more antagonists? At last. There's one left thing to do. 
Yeah, this blue makes me feel like this is actually good. You must go and find your roots. Find out who you really are. Therefore, you can fully understand your role. Linda! <laughs> okay, I understand. The time has come. Let us reforge our bond. Oh, is this a woman from the original game that we defeated? I am you. And you are me. What do you mean reforge our bond? When did our bond get broken? I don't think I was there for that part of it. Am I supposed to run towards this light? Oh, I was. It feels like it's pushing me away though. Sulong. Arise, keeper of the dark. That's, I, I'm assuming she's saying I keep the dark at bay and not I'm the one, the harbinger of evilness. That would be the deviled egg lady. Keepers of the dark. We're still alive. Oh, oh, oh. No, thank you, love. Stop it. Let me run. <laughs> Time to get out of this freaking house. Stop. Get away. <laughs> it's so quick. This is so weird. Oh, wait. I have my phone on me now. Click, click, click. Click, click, click again. Click, click, click. Oh, my goodness. Click, click. What do you mean? You wanted me to become evil like you? Why, why are you running? Why are you the one running? <laughs> I thought I was running. I guess I'm chasing you. The hunters become the hunted. Can we go? Can we face through objects too, or do we have to? Yep, we have to go through the haunted house. Why does it sound like she's growing massive arms? There she is. What's that weird noise? It sounds like she's getting a lot large. Yes, I do like this place, actually. It, it's just... Where are you taking me? What is that under there? Is it a, a couch? Oh, there's a door right here. Oh, it sounds like she's crunching some chicken nuggies. I hope. Come find me, darling! <laughs> This is so cool. I I'm not making fun of the game, I promise. It's, 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 it's just, it's not intimidating, but it's still cool. When a game can be cool while it's not just relying on jump scares, like some previous games we've played in the past, I like them even more. It's, it's like a maze down here. How long did it take her to come up with this elaborate strategy? What's that strange noise? You've tasted my mother. That's a weird thing coming from someone like you. You're not gonna taste me again. <laughs> no, I, I took a picture of you. Can I just flash you instead? I wonder if that does more damage. No, I cannot flash. Take, take the, take the shot. It's, that's like a snake or so. What is that? Is that her body? <laughs> her body followed us all the way out here. What is it doing? Is it just gonna throw up on us? Can I destroy your body too? No. What are you gonna do? Okay, yeah. It's it's just puking blood. <laughs> oh! Is that a rat? It's a, a, there's a rat out here too. <laughs> It probably makes sense since she's probably carrying bodies around. Her. That's some Resident Evil 4 type gore. Oh, the kitty followed us. Kitty, what are you doing? Kit kitty, do not eat the dead bo- Good kitty. Good kitty. 
<laughs> why are you why are you going in circles oh the cat just drew a demon circle around us or something you <laughs> of garbage cat you were supposed to be my friend <gasps> why you do this to me among the living no well, not anymore <laughs> oh oh <laughs> oh this has become so cool act six destiny or did that say dynasty this is like some Dark Souls 3 level gore. This game is opening up so much. It's becoming so much more than what I originally thought. So thank you for watching. And we'll find out whatever the heck is in this house. In this village. <laughs> and this pile of gore. In the next. Contingency.